What's going on, rock stars? Welcome to another episode of The 1% Life. I'm your host, peak performance coach and trainer, Joni Dillon. And today we're talking about what benefit you get by hiding from the world. That's right. If you're joining us live on the Facebooks, type a one if it's your first time listening and type a two in the comments if you are a return listener. I always like to know who our newbies are and those who are our loyal listeners. So thank you. And if you're listening to us on one of our podcasting platforms like Apple Podcast, Stitcher Radio, Google Play, any of the Spotify, leave us a rating and a review, a five-star rating and review if or when you get value from this episode and or if you've ever have in the past. And do me a favor and please, please, please leave us a review and share this out. That's how we grow. That's how we impact more people around the world is when you do just that. So this topic of hiding from the world, well, it's one that most people don't think about, but it's one that happens often. So here's where this came from. So today I was on one of my coaching calls with a group that I lead called the 1% Life Acceleration Group. And one of the rock stars in that group He's talking about how he's stepping out of an industry, out of a job, and really excited about stepping into another one. And I said, okay, great. Well, have you made that decision definitively? Because they're supposed to be going back to work soon in another job. And he said, well, yeah, I, I'm, I'm making that decision. I've made it. Great. My next question was, well, how congruent are you with that decision? And what he said was, well, I'm a, uh, and I said, stop what percentage of you is not congruent? And he said, I'm 99%, 0.9% congruent. And there's a part of you that isn't. So what part is that? And what he said to that was, well, I don't want people to think that I'm jumping around from thing to thing. Oh, there he goes, that other thing again. And, and also, I'm just, I'm, I'm scared to come out with it. I, I don't, you know, it's, oh, it's just another thing that I'm doing. And then I got a prospect and, and, oh, you'll be worried about what they think when you're prospecting. Right. And that was kind of a thing as well. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, that's it. So as I was talking him through this and really helping him to wrap his head around the cost of hiding from the world, the cost of holding back that passion, that thing that's so important to you yet you're minimizing because you are not willing to put it out into the world, out into the universe, and to let everybody know, to scream it from the rooftops, that this is what you're doing and this is what you're committed to. Well, that part of you that's holding you back is blocking you from success in that thing. Because how do you expect to create the outcomes and the results that you want when you're hiding that part of you? So I started to talk to him about, there was a part of me that felt that I needed to hide from the world as well. And that part of me that was hiding from the world was hiding from my partner in relationship. Not once, not one partner, but every single partner I'd been with, which, you know, it's not like 50 of them, but over the course of my adult life, and probably even youth, well, teenagers, whatever. You get my point. Okay, you get my point. But I would never, and I have never, ever posted a photo, a video, a proclamation of love, if you must, but I wouldn't do that really anyway. But I might, you know, the old me wouldn't, but maybe the new me would. But I'd never done that publicly. I hid my partner from the world. And there was part of me culturally that said that wasn't okay. You know, good Indian girls aren't supposed to date. You just somehow end up married one day. I don't know how, but you just gotta do. And then there was like the side of me that felt like I was being judged if I were to do that. Like, was my partner good enough? What if they didn't have a college education? What if they didn't, you know, they weren't a certain ethnicity? What would other people think? I mean, I certainly didn't mind, but what would other people think? You know, the community, the culture, the world. And then every single relationship I was in ended. And the person left feeling minimized, feeling not valued, like I was ashamed. 
And was there shame? Perhaps. But the shame more so in them was some short sort of shame that resided within me that was simply showing up through them. So, enter a new relationship. <laughs> 40 years old, all of a sudden, there's somebody new in my life. And there's all the reasons why for my old self to behave in the same way. There's all the reasons why to behave in the same way. And some of those, you know, reasons were, oh, I can't, you know, what if they learn about this part of his past? Please don't know. Right, all of that stuff. Incredible human being, like seriously. One of the most amazing men on this planet, changing lives and transforming lives all across the world. And I remember that this day when I actually, just a couple weeks ago, I told my partner, yeah, 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 we're never gonna post pictures on social media. You will never have a picture of me together with you. And not in that way, like so bluntly, but pretty much blunt. Like, yeah, we're not doing that. That's not gonna happen. It is what it is, accept it. I'm a good Indian girl, right? Or whatever, I didn't say that, but you know, like that's just not what we do. What we do, who's we and says who, right? <laughs> so, of course, the person that he is, a tenacious individual like my partner is, he was trying to break down to the root of what was really going on there. It was really stopping me from living my truth, from being who I truly am and to the world. And so he said to me, he says, Joni, you know my, my past is why I am the man that I am today to you and the man I am in the world. And I would never give that past away for anything. And that clicked with me. And I thought, holy cow, isn't that true? <laughs> and who am I to say that he has to be all of these things before everybody out there will accept him? It's pretty freaking amazing. And that was his past, like 17 years ago, right? This drink, whatever. I don't drink anymore <laughs> at all. How am I going to explain that to my family? Well, what if he just do? Right? Like, what if he just do? And so now, for those of you who've been watching me on Instagram, at Joni Dillon, following all my stories. We're doing a coast to coast trip from Atlanta, Georgia, all the way to Seattle. I had to fly home for four or five days to take care of my Diego, my doggy, and fly back on Tuesday to finish out our coast to coast trip from Montana to Seattle. But you're seeing me actually for the first time in my life talk about my personal life. I've always been so private. In fact, I don't even think my father knows that I'm in a relationship yet. He probably does by the end of this episode. <laughs> but everybody else in the world does. I mean, dad's not stupid. He knows we were together, so he's a pretty smart guy. Nonetheless, that's happening too, that conversation. And I want you to ask yourself, where in your life are you hiding? Is there a project, a passion project that you really want to birth into the world? Maybe something you're working on now or one that you're committed to doing, but you're really not able to step into it fully, own it, be it, do it, because you've been hiding from the world. You've been hiding it from the world. Maybe we were talking to one of my clients earlier. She's written a book. It's on Amazon. Nobody's reading it. She's hiding from the world. But it's not going to just get read on its own. You don't just put something on Amazon and make sure, and everybody just finds it. You got to market it. You got to promote it. You got to get your face out there. You got to get your message out there. You got to talk about why your book is the book for everyone to read. The movie she wants to create on, it's not going to just happen on its own. She's got to birth it into existence. She has to create a plan, put it, the intention out to the universe and manifest it and stop hiding it's not so much to just write the book we've got to bring the book to life the book's not breathing right now so what in your life is not breathing right now and is being suffocated 
What in your life are you hiding from? Is it a job? Is it the thing you really want to be doing? Maybe it's the business, the side hustle, the business that you really want to bring into existence or to build to another level or to talk about to your significant other or your family or the world. And you're not able to create success in it because you're stifling the life out of it. You're not giving it the energy, the oxygen it needs to breathe, to be. That is costing you. My friends, that is a cost not only externally to you, okay, there's a monetary cost of not birthing your gifts into the world, of, of hiding from the world. There's an external cost, a financial cost, most often. And there's an internal cost, a psychological cost of the weight that it's bearing on you. Every time you think about it and you push it off to the side, oh, someday, oh, I promise I will, oh, when the timing's right, it's not the right time yet, will it ever be? See, that which we push off into the future, enough gets pushed off permanently. So you've got to, with intention, retrieve it, bring it back, bring it into the now. And lean into the discomfort, communicate your message, your position, your stance, your belief, your love to the world. not caring about what they say, how it's received, who has an opinion or belief, because I promise you, they will. They will. Every single person has a belief. Some of them will be in alignment with yours, and most of them will not. And that's okay. Because if we wait for everybody's beliefs and everybody's opinions and feelings to be aligned with ours, we will never birth the thing. We will never create a life worth living. We will never create your 1% life. You won't do it because you're waiting for everything to be perfect. And there's no such thing. Change makers, impact makers, influencers, the world's ultra achievers do the thing even when it's uncomfortable because they believe in it so much. Their passion exudes. They cannot help but let it out. Containing it's not an option. And everybody else's opinions matter nothing to you. When you're so aligned with your purpose, when you're so aligned with your passion, when you're so aligned with that which you're birthing and creating in the world, nobody else's opinions matter. Yours. And when you commit to a life like that rock star, man, anything is possible for you. Not to mention, that is the energy that the universe responds to. So if the thing's not happening, it's because you've been suffocating the energy and the life out. And when you free it and you allow it to breathe and you direct focused energy and tension and love, purpose, add it into it, it will grow into something amazing. Rockstar, if you got value from today's episode, do me a favor, leave us a five-star rating and a review take you two minutes to do so or less. It means the world to me and it helps us reach more people across the world. Share this out to one friend. Just that's all I ask every episode, one friend. That's it. And if you so choose to your network and that's just amazing if you do. And lastly, but not least, join us in our upcoming challenge. We are launching Oh, I'm so excited about it. I can barely stand it. It's called the Create Your 1% Life Challenge. The Create Your 1% Life Challenge. It's a 10-day experience that you're going to be taking on an incredible journey 
to learn how to leverage the power of your mind. You're going to learn neurohacking mind techniques to create your 1% life blueprint. We've done it for a year and now I have morphed it, I have evolved it, and I am turning it into the ultimate 10 day challenge experience for you. So join us by going to the 1%life.com forward slash start the the number one, the number one, the number one percent life.com forward slash start. Check the link in the show notes as well. And we're super excited to have you on board. I promise you the person that you need to be right now is different than the person that you've been operating in this new economy, this new world era we have entered into, and I am going to show you how. So join us, head on over to onepercentlifecom forward slash start, and we'll see you on the inside, Rockstar. Get out there and be unstoppable. Peace.